back in the last class we have discussed about magnetic induction and also about susceptibility and retentivity of soft iron and steel today we are going to discuss another important topic in this chapter and that is permeability place an iron ring or a large iron nut between the poles of two magnets as shown here place a thin glass plate above them and sprinkle iron fillings on it tap gently on the glass plate what do you observe do the iron fillings stick to the hollow part of the nut compare the pattern given in the figure what do you understand from this yes the ability of soft iron to permit magnetic lines of force pass through it is greater than that of air once again magnetic lines of force pass more easily through soft iron than through air permeability is the ability of substance to pass magnetic lines of force through them soft iron alnico and cobalt have high permeability whereas air glass and aluminum are the substances having very low permeability now you got an idea why magnetic compass is not made by arranging a magnetic needle inside a soft iron case what may be the reason yes iron has high permeability so it prevents the needle from moving inside the case we know magnetic needles are usually artificial magnets alloys are used to make artificial magnets how do you make strong magnets using these alloys let's see in the previous year you have studied about electromagnet did you remember that Electromagnets are made by passing electric current through insulated copper wire wound on a soft iron piece. How can you make an electromagnet? Wind a few turns of insulated copper wire on a iron nail. Connect the ends of the wire to a cell. Bring some pin near the nail. What do you observe when electricity is passed through the circuit? Yes the pins are attracted by the iron nail what may be the reason when current passed through the iron nail it changed to magnet let's see what are the methods used to increase the strength of electromagnet first one increase the number of turns of coiled conductor second one increase the strength of current and the third one increase the area of cross section of the soft iron placed inside the coil remember all electromagnets are temporary magnets if the current stops flow then the magnetism of the soft iron core is lost so students our fourth chapter magnetism has completed this chapter is so important that it gives you some ideas about the properties of magnets so study well see you in the next class thank you